everybody and welcome back. It's me, Shreddy, and welcome back to Sally Face. Yes, I know it has been quite a while since I last played this, but Shreddy finally got the other chapters for this game, so we're going to continue where we left off. Where we left off was Sally Face. For those of you who have not seen this game before or not played it yourself, Sally is actually a boy. So some kind of weird nickname he acquired due to the fact that he wears a mask for whatever reason. We still don't know. And he happens to have very long hair and keeps it in nice, cute little ponytails. Anyways... Um, in the first chapter, we ended up sending this weirdo off to prison because we accused him of killing some old lady over some pony collection, which is by no means a hit on MLP at all. Uh, and then at the very end, Sally Face is talking to what I thought was a psychiatrist, but I think some lawyer person. I'm not really sure. And then we see Sally Face in, like, the prison garb, so... We have to know what happens or happened. Either way, let's move on to chapter two and see what happens. Chapter two is the wretched. Sal? I don't know who's talking. Sally, where are you? Whoa. Oh, that's right. The first one did start off in some weird dream looking thing. Oh, is this Sally when he was uh, a child? Oh. Okay, I had this turned up a little too loud. That actually startled the crap out of me. <laughs> oh. I have missed this game so much. This is so cute. And very Oh, is that the mom? Don't wander so far off, sweetie. I, uh, I want to see the doggy, mom. Can't, can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, all right, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees. Oh wait, was Sal always his name? I thought Sal was just a nickname. Maybe I'm wrong on that accusation. Hmm. What what boy names start with Sal? I've met like guys that are named Sully or Sullivan. Never Sal. <gasps> Short for Salamander. Ha ha. Oh wait, we're going well past it. We're in the trees. We're in the thicket of trees now. All right. We have. Whoa. There was a bear <laughs> or a deer. We, whoa, what happened to the face? Oh, Sal, what happened? Now we're walking through an apocalyptic world. Oh, did he get injured or something and that's why he has the mask? I, I know all this is very dreamlike. Um, I hope. Where? Dinosaur bones, really? That's a huge... Whoa! What? Oh, is this picking up from chapter one? Or is this a thing with his mom? Oh! Wait, wow, wait a minute! I'm confused! Oh, Mrs. Sanderson! Thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet! No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just a... Banana peels? What is he doing to his fingers? Is he soaking them in water and then scrubbing the crap off? Ah, that sounds... My imagination is going way too far with that. Let's continue. Oh, I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Larry. Oh, that's our dad, right? Larry? Or... Wait... Uh, oh yeah, this is the not MLP thing that they're uh, poking fun at. So apparently, like everybody collects these, then, right? I guess they're so cute. Here, yes. Here, maybe. Yes. No. Yes. Ah. Oh, look at your bathroom. Ain't it so fancy and stuff? It's way bigger than ours. Ooh. <laughs> ah, ew. First of all, y'all need a new toilet, or at least a new toilet lid and seat, cause. Something happened there, and just yuck. <laughs> it's all because I was literally talking shit about a toilet. <laughs> I thought we were back in the thing. Wait, are, does the fumes alone just cause us to see this? Ah, whoa. What the hell? are you? That is not a pony! 
That is a dog that's had shit taped to it and has a severe case of mange. Oh my god, it talks. Ah! Oh. You there, please help me. What's wrong? Absolutely nothing. It's got a case of red eyes, some mange. You can see its teeth for some weird reason. It looks dehydrated as balls. It's stuck in a crevice. It can't fly. And it's in a sewer, I'm assuming. Ugh. The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry. I know how to fix this. Please, hurry. If you don't hurry, I'll melt away like the Wicked Witch of the West. They clearly upped their game in chapter two. Jesus, this is loud. Oh, excuse me. I didn't realize we were doing puzzles immediately. Now, am I in the toilet? Like, I'm so confused. And these sound effects are freaking awesome. Like, holy crap. Freaking. curious about the climbing up part. Like, how far up do I have to go and be touching stuff? Okay. So, middle, top. Do I have to go all the way back down now and touch the one at the bottom, or does that matter? How, how does all this work? Ugh! I better run or I'm gonna drown! I can't run any faster! Oh god! Haha! <laughs> oh, there we go! That doesn't. I didn't realize this was a grow your own pony monster, and it's dead now. Because you got way too much water there, kiddo. And now we're leaving? What? I'm co is it co is it, it, it is the toilet looks fine and the bathroom shrank. What is going on? I forget his name. He he lives in the basement. He and his mom live here. The mom technically works here as like a janitor or something. And he helps out once in a while. He's the one that saw all this stuff. So I wonder if this is Sally having some strange nightmare about this. See? And now there's a pony missing. Aha! Okay. Answers all of my, my thoughts. Okay, we need to leave now. Oh. Okay, so now we're following this culprit. This is bizarre. Whoa. This is, this, yep. Yep, to Charlie, the guy that we assumed killed. And I'm going to say assume now because I'm thinking maybe it wasn't him, but he was an avid pony collector. So, Sal. I forget his name. So, come closer. I have something to show you. Why does he have a zipper? I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. Oh, God. <laughs> was a cool intro. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Not Larry. Okay. Yeah. See, this was our friend. Yeah. Okay. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had the this bad since like right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Like the colors do not match the carpet at all. 
Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. Just kind of dingy. I've been here for most of my life and haven't seen any ghosts. But, now that you mention it, I did see that one cockroach that one time. <laughs> but what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. The, is this rated T for teens? <laughs> Ready? Zip. Ah! I'm just kidding. It's not that. Oh, I'm so sick of looking at snow. We just had a big snowstorm hit our place. Whoa, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Oh, that's cute. Awesome. Totally tubular. Oh, I can climb? Y'all ever been in a treehouse? One of my friends of friends had one. It was pretty cool. Like, this is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me when uh, before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No, no, no nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license. Everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. Mm, I believe you, so what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but, well, I think it's something else. Like what? Maybe the massive unicorn thing that I saw. <laughs> it ate him. That's why it got so bloated. Hammond told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. Have you seen me? Everybody judges me. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back, and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. He killed her pet rabbit. Okay, wait. So the death of a bunny is going to cause the disappearance of your dad? Mrs. Gibson, you twat! Oh, man, that's rough! Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off that old bag. I felt horrible, though. That poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. Well, I mean, we did see some really weird stuff in that abandoned room in the first chapter. And then these freaking weird dreams. Well, granted, Sal did say she was having these nightmares well before we even moved here. But still, for them to resurface. I'm just saying. He reached out and touched me. I got the super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rat. Whoa, really? Two weeks in juvie? Well, I mean, technically it's a firecracker. It could have killed her instead. And it's... Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I mean... That seems a bit extreme. But it may have been dependent on how old he was. I don't know. I don't know. Game logics. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school I had to take summer classes. I hate tid summer classes. So glad I don't got to do that anymore. But almost every year, guaranteed, I was getting at least one. <laughs> it's been one bad thing after the other. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Whoa! Hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. Yeah, I, I wouldn't... No, I would not put the blame of the thing that happened to Mrs. Sanderson on Larry. There's just no way. Some people in this world, yeah, a lot of bad stuff happens to them, but then there are just bad people in the world... Which sucks, but, I mean, this is how... Okay, I have to stop my train of thought. Do y'all see <laughs> on the far right this little post over here for corn? 
I love that. I am actually a corn fan. Not just the vegetable, but the actual, like, band and everything. Yeah, so that's hilarious. <laughs> what did this demon look like? It was like nothing I'd ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but it had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part, those deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit! What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. That's right. We in the in the abandoned uh, apartment room near the attic place. No way. When? I swear I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. I believe in demons, but ghost is totally a far stretch for me. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We could try to find out more about the ghost. Oh. oh. <laughs> Whoops. I miss... I, I switched around the colors. <clears throat> we could try to find out more about the ghost, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I got nothing to lose. Besides my own spirit. <laughs> my mom didn't want any of my dad's things in the house, so I brought everything out here for when he comes back. Aw, that's sweet. He loves his dad, so... Oh, let me see the picture. Aw, that is one cool... Why is there... What does that say? It's a gear boy up on the left. What is that? Is that like their new save thingy? Huh, that's strange. What is that? Oh, okay. So I thought maybe it was a... What is this now? I found this weird gear boy cartridge in the lost and found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. Like ESP readings or ESP, uh, NSPN, BBC, stuff like that. Yeah. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. I don't remember us getting a gear boy. <laughs> Nothing useful in here. Jesus, that's loud. Natural life. Do I, I can't click on anything. Oh. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful, though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. I've not gone to a live concert either. I've always wanted to. I'm just... I don't know. I never actually make the plans to do so. I'd love to go to NSP. Oh my god, that would be freaking cool. For those of you who don't know, NSP is Ninja Sex Party, which is freaking awesome. Anyways, moving on. There's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. Take it. Show this to Larry. What's in this box? Is it snuff? <laughs> I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. Some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. <gasps> it's the cube from Hellraiser! Don't touch it! <laughs> Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah! I, 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 I wanted to open the menu! Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. Never. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so they added an inventory. That's cool. Key card, gear boy, walkie-talkie, and puzzle box. So what exactly is the piece that's missing on here, then? Oh, is it the little corner here? Or maybe? I don't know. Interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's leave. Damn, that's loud. Okay. The sound effects are really good. They were good in chapter one, but for some reason in chapter two, man, these are nice. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys loved it, don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Join the Shoei's Party Place today. Let's hear them Sally Face Battle Cries. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode.